Well, Matt, thanks for joining us. Your side worked hard. How different would it have been had it not been for the red card for Theo Archibald? I suppose we'll never know. Um, firstly, I've got to say I'm gutted. I'm gutted for the players. I'm gutted for the fans. I thought the players gave everything in the game. Um, I think maybe it was a case of being early in the game, being a little bit over-emotional. Um, we've had a really good two days, spoke to the players. Uh, I warned them early on uh, in, in the dressing room before the game about... You haven't got to win the game really early, you know. Played a long game, it's 90 minutes, 95 minutes. So I think we got caught in maybe just trying to almost take too many risks too early. And obviously we've conceded a goal. And when you concede a goal, there was a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit of lack of confidence in the group at the moment. Obviously they're not used to winning and then there's a touch of anxiety, which is, which is normal and which is understandable. Um, and then it was a bit of a grind to get back into the game, um, get back into our rhythm, and then obviously the sending off uh, didn't help. But after that, I thought we fought to the end. I thought we had chances in the first half before the sending off and in the second half. And I can only say, um, I think the players gave it their all. I thought the crowd could see that as well. Two yellow cards that came very quickly, both challenges born out of frustration. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't actually seen him again. Obviously, the first one I thought was definitely yellow. Um, second one, I don't know whether he needed to book him. Uh, Theo said he slipped, but I, I'll have to see it again. Um, again, yeah, maybe born out of frustration. I know the lads are so desperate to do well. You know, they're a frustrated group. They're desperate to do well, and when things aren't going well, maybe you just do things that you wouldn't normally do. So, really frustrating. I think it affected uh, things a bit, but even with 10, I think we've still kind of had had opportunities and moments you know uh, things off the line and stuff and I think they could see the spirit and the fight till the end so I'm, I'm really happy with that Absolutely because there were six additional minutes and probably some of the better chances came during that additional time and one strong appeal for a penalty Yeah absolutely and you, I think you've got to remember we've had a, quite a, a lot of games recently so with ten men uh, for, for 40 minutes 35 minutes physically it asked a lot of the lads so I'm really pleased that they carried on going to the very end and I don't know, I felt might, something might just be uh, on our side and we'd be able to, to, to get a, a goal near the end and get a point, but it, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't to be. How worried are the players now? Because this is something they weren't expecting. This season was about to be about a promotion challenge. Yeah, I think that's the difficult thing and that's the thing, um, I mean, we've openly spoke about it, um, but we need to really be hard to beat first and foremost and then we just need to keep going look we, we all know it's not ideal we expect it to be up the other end but ultimately sometimes football just it isn't like that and the only way out of it is but to keep going keep fighting keep doing the right things and eventually it will turn and when it turns it will feel like a big weight off the shoulder and um, and they'll feel like things actually they, you know they can win a game again so that's what the messages we keep giving them Goal so hard to come by and it's going to be a big miss in Theo Archibald on Tuesday at Colchester. Yeah, Theo's going to be a big miss. Obviously, Frank, who come, came on and done well, can't play. So, um, yeah, not easy. Not easy. Boys are going to have to roll their sleeves up. We're going to have to find a way. Um, you know, there's no time to feel sorry for ourselves. There's no time to put your head down. We've just got to keep going. That's all you can do. Keep going, it will turn. It will turn. You're confident about that? Yeah, you have to be, don't you? You know, they're, um, as I keep saying, they're a good group. They're low on belief. It's hard in a minute, but you just got to keep fighting. That's, that's the way. That's how they've got to where they are. So you just got to keep fighting in this situation. And what about the supporters? They certainly sort of made themselves heard, particularly in that additional time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I understand how hard it is for them. Um, you know, it's frustrating. They haven't seen a goal for a, for a long time, and I can totally understand their frustration. Um, but all I can say is I would, I would absolutely love to have got something for him today, love to have got him a point, obviously a win, but down to 10, I thought we maybe would have. And I know it ain't easy to keep supporting your team when they're not giving you much to shout about, but I think they saw the effort and we could feel it. I, I told him in there, I think, you know, it's been a hard place to play recently and I think um, they come out of it with a little bit of credit in terms of their fight, you know, and that's what we're going to hold on to and that's what we're going to keep pushing. I can't imagine anybody knows this group of players better than yourself. When you look at back on the 7th of December and late night looking so strong against a very good Swindon Town side, yeah. what's happened since then, Matt? Um, it's hard to put, put your finger on exactly. I mean, 
you'd have to say that there's been a few factors, obviously all COVID situations and all stuff like that. I'm not making excuses. I suppose there's some reasons we've, we're a bit out of rhythm. And then um, once confidence and belief starts to slip, it can be hard to get back. And that's all I've said. And that's what I've said to him, you know, it, 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 can, it can go pretty quick, but it can also come back quick. And that's what we, we, that's what we've got to keep fighting and working for. A little bit of luck would be nice here and there, but that's all we can do. Keep fighting, keep working. There's no doubt they were working hard for you this afternoon. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Good luck.